a good day today. Please. If you want, pwede ka din mag-shoot ng surroundings. Later. Like in trees, sun, sunset. Basically, yun. Diba minsan pag pa-uwi, maganda yung sunset. Ay, sunset. Sunrise. Two hours later. Ta -da! Hi, Bess. Hello, Bess. <laughs> Pinaktis <laughs> namin <laughs> We're here again at Loose Place. Hello, As you welcome. Can see. Welcome. And today we are going to make beef pho. Pho. Yeah. It's today is sep um, end of September. End of September. It's nearing <laughs> fall. So oh, medyo yeah. cool na sa labas. Kaya na mm -hmm. sweater sweater ready na kami. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it feels like it's gonna be nice for some soup tonight. So yes. that's what we're gonna do. Okay. I'm Vietnamese, I believe. Yes. We're very big fan fans of uh, Asian food. We like Korean anything. <laughs> Yes, fun. <laughs> We're very big fans of um, Asian food and soup, especially. Lalo na sometimes here in the U.S., the weather becomes cold, diba? So, mm -hmm. pho is always um, cozy, comfortful. And because we, we don't have any yet, oh, we do, right? We're starting to have, we they did, do. and then we're going to have a new place opening up soon. But we're home buddies, so we like to cook our own things yeah and we go to the asian market to get some of these things and this isn't like the long process of of doing your soup because you can do that we're just doing the shortcut way we're gonna show you how to make it the quickest way <laughs> the best yes the best way yes yeah. without I'll going <laughs> and yeah that's our dinner tonight and we'll show you how we do it yes see, see you <laughs> noodles that we got from there as well and um we just thought of uh, something any kind of beef really that's thin and easy to cook is good so we had i had this we had this in our freezer so that's what we brought today We've got some cilantro, some lime, onion, chili, or jalapeno, I don't know, something spicy, <laughs> and bean sprouts. You can add some more stuff, but I think basically this is what it really is. And um, we've got my tried and tested hot pot that I use for mostly soups, hot pots. Uh, and, but you can actually grill in this stuff so it's been uh, i've had this for what like two years maybe and all you gotta do is like plug it in and then you can turn it on here what is it called again it's aroma electric grill it mm. yeah you can, i got this from amazon <laughs> i'm pretty that's what i think yeah so yeah no going that then that's the only thing we need what? Um, we're we're gonna gonna So this um, broth actually has instructions at the back. So if you're not totally sure, really, we just winged it. We just followed what this is and we put whatever we thought we put and it turned out good. <laughs> so first we're going to do, we're going to boil 10 cups of water. But it's not going to be 10 cups because it's just three of us, right? So while she's doing the preparing, we're going to boil some water. Ready? So we're just going to fill the water. We can always add some more. That's the good thing about this broth. When there's, you know, when you want more, you can add some more and then just adjust the taste. 
but um, so we're just gonna start off with some water and then we're going to boil it it's already been boiled actually so we can just wa turn this on and warm it up boiling already you can put your soup in uh, like I said I just wing it I put some in and then I taste it later if it's good if not we put some more <laughs> and we like to put um, other seasonings in it as well basically you just want to stir it until everything that you've got is ready to cook and put and toss in there as well okay so now we're gonna do the noodles basically we just need to put this in um, hot water so, just put it in a bowl like this and you let it soak but not really as, um, as long Kasi you'll also put it in your, or you can, you can also put it in the soup kasi. And we just leave it here until it, um, it softens and ready for serving. Okay, then. So we're going to prepare some of the things now. The first we're going to do is the onions. We're just going to chop it into uh, strips, uh, thin strips. Sorry, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so, you don't want it to be too spicy, you can remove the seeds out. Okay. I think I'm gonna have a Got our noodles all prepared there on the side. We're going to um, taste test the soup. And so, what you can do, what we do actually, um, I like a little bit of uh, garlic in it and but, um, I was gonna say patis, fish sauce. <laughs> Pinoy na Pinoy. <laughs> but um, it kind of brings out the the taste a lot better with the with the patis, with the fish sauce. And sometimes I like to put a little bit of the. Um, the onions in there already and a little bit of the spice just to add a little bit of flavor in there and a little bit of garlic as well so really i mean if you've had pho before you have some idea of what it tastes like and um i we just wing it <laughs> and you just um taste it and until your ancestors tell you to stop <laughs> yes we're literally that kind of asian people <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna put a little bit of um fish sauce in there just like that 
and it's boiling it's um pretty much done so all we gotta do is um plate our um pho and put this in first first the noodle Para kasi hamsi. Ito na ako. Yung ano niya. Yung aminto. And then, I'm gonna put some of my veggies. Rice. <laughs> Rice. 